Yeah, welcome back to the channel, part-time camper. Uh, we're out here today at our local state park, one of them. And um, I'm going to cook up a mountain house uh, freeze-dried meal, the beef stroganoff. I've not had this one. Um, I've got a little uh, stove here I got off Amazon. It's actually when they're having their Amazon deals every year, what they have, the day deals. And uh, but you can see this is a... Edic City. Don't know if I said that right, but there it is. So this basically says takes 16 ounces of water, uh, boiled, put it in the pouch, let it stand for eight to nine minutes. And this is based 16.9 ounces, so basically that whole bottle of water. So we'll get this cooked up here and um, we'll be back here in just a second. Yeah, so we're going to get this. Uh, stove lit up I'll just show you how easy this thing is it's it's real nice uh, you just turn the valve there it is it's got a pretty good flame on it um, so we'll get this water boiling you really can't put too big of a pot on these but they're nice they're light they don't weigh anything you can take them with you it actually sits in a container like this when it's all folded up. So, like, that's, you know, in your little pouch in your backpack. So it's real nice. Um, so we're going to get this water boiled up. And uh, we'll be back with you here in just a second. All right. Uh, I timed this to see how fast it would boil that water. It's at a good rolling boil, and it's been four minutes. So, and uh, I probably had it you know, half throttle, however you want to say it. So I didn't have it full blast, you know, and it boiled in basically four minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Um, so we've got the mountain house opened up. I'm not going to go through the instructions. You can uh, read it. It's self-explanatory, but one thing you do want to watch out, if you've never had one of these, the uh, absorbent oxygen absorber packets, make sure you get that out of there. So get that out of there. So. Anyway, we are going to dump this water in here. Uh, we're going to stir it up, and then we'll let it set for eight to nine minutes, and we'll be back with you, and we'll uh, try this and see what it's like. Um, also, this little fuel thing here, most people probably know what it is, but it's just your, uh, it's actually a jet boil fuel canister. I have a jet boil at home that I also use. Uh, I'll take that out on longer trips or something. Um, but uh, this little thing here works real well. So it's just a little canister. You can get them at Walmart. They're ISO butane propane fuel mix. So What about uh, your boiling so, pot? I just bought that at Walmart. It's just a cheap little stainless steel cup. So shut that off. Just give it a stir, get all mixed up good in there. Oh, okay. can we see inside? What's it look like? Take a look. So, there you go. Kind of looks a little bit like dog food, but. All right, so one of the options on this thing is after four minutes, if you want, you can. You can uh, give it another stir. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to give it the four minute stir. Good enough. And seal it back up. Let's see. I want to see the inside. It's getting a little thicker. It's like a, like a gravy in there now almost. Oh, so. yeah. It's, not, it's looking more like food instead of dog food. I think it'll be okay. It actually smells pretty good. All right, welcome back. It's been the eight or nine minutes now. So uh, before we open that up, I was just going to show you this. You know, this thing just folds right up. It goes right inside this little container. Um, little lid. Nice. It's perfect for a little short trip, even a long trip. I mean, you could cook quite a bit with this stuff. So um, there's that. So let's open this up. Take a look at it. So, 
There you go. That smells good. Nice. So. So there you go. Mmm. Actually tastes pretty good. My one thing here, I think, is the meat chunks. I think it could set for probably just a couple more minutes. The meat chunks still feel like they're a little bit tough. And maybe that's just the way it is. I don't know. Um, it's the first time I've ate the beef stroganoff. So, um, you know, I'll let it sit there a couple more minutes. Um, they may soften up a little bit more. Um, but it actually does taste really good. Um, I'm kind of surprised with it. Uh, I would definitely get this one again, no doubt. It's pretty good. Um, and it's actually quite a bit in there. So it is definitely a meal. You could probably feed two people with that pretty easy but uh what's the bag say it's not how many too people? Bad. i didn't read that part what's the serving that says two and a half servings right here on oh. the side so you can serve two people apparently so and these things last forever this thing's may 2049 so 29 years from now you could still eat this and it'd be good so so um, one out of ten um if i was going to give it a one out of a ten i would i would give it a i'd probably give it a seven and a half i was going to say eight but i'll go seven and a half just because that meat was a little bit it felt like it was a little bit tough the meat was so i'd have probably gave it an eight maybe even eight and a half to a nine if the meat wasn't like it was, but the taste and everything else is good. So, yep, that's what I'm going to say. Seven and a half. So, thanks for watching. Um, it's a nice day out here, so, you know, get out, enjoy the outdoors, do something with your family, uh, you know, and uh, just enjoy it. I know you can probably hear my daughter in the background watching uh, YouTube videos, but uh, we're taking a little break out here at the state park. We're walking a trail, just enjoying the outdoors. And uh, so just get out there and go. Thanks. Bye.